It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe. Today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different and kind of sad. Uh, we're going to focus on a guest star and the guy who wrote the lyrics uh, to the theme song of the Andy Griffith Show, The Fishing Hole. His name was Everett Sloan. Uh, and uh, a kind of a look at his tragic suicide. Um, let's just get into it, okay? Most film buffs, I imagine, know Everett Sloan, chiefly from his professional relationship with Orson Welles. He was with the Mercury Theater in the radio productions and in their 1941 stage adaptation of Native Son, as well as Citizen Kane, Journey into Fear, The Lady from Shanghai, Princess of Foxes. Uh, Welles also wanted him for Iago uh, in his Othello, which uh, would have been incredible, but Sloan backed out, causing a permanent rift between the two. Uh, those who love Sloan, as Mr. Bernstein and Citizen Kane, may be, not be surprised that he had once worked as a runner on Wall Street. 1929 crash caused him uh, to pursue stage and radio careers. Wall eyed and hook nosed, you may say that he had a, a good face for radio. It was also a good one for films and certain kinds of character parts. Though his name was really uh, waspy sounding, Sloan was a uh, Jew from New York and often played characters that reflected his identity. Among his thousands of radio uh, roles, regulars were the Goldbergs, Bulldog Drummond, and the March of Time. Sloan had a sort of whiny, gravelly voice, though. He would deepen it so well. Uh, so his character range allowed him to play anything from dippy comic sidekicks to authoritative businessmen to gents much older than he was. Of his 10 Broadway shows, the original 1944 production of A Bell for Andano uh, with Frederick March was probably his most significant. Uh, Sloan did lots and lots of television, especially those live television dramas of the Playhouse 90 sort, but also uh, shows such as Alfred Hitchcock Presents and The Twilight Zone, Wagon Train, Bonanza. Uh, Sloan also dabbled in songwriting. Several of his songs were used in the rev review uh, from A to Z from 1960, which proved to be his last Broadway show. He also wrote the lyrics for the Andy Griffith Show theme, which ultimately weren't used in favor of the familiar whistling arrangement. Sloan was a guest star on the show later in a 1963 episode. In 65, Sloan became depressed about his worsening glaucoma and fearful of prospect of going blind, a condition which, which could conceivably be fatal to the career of an actor. So, um, as he chose an exit from this world. 25 barbiturate capsules were his route he took, and he was only 55 years old. It's just sad because, I mean, he had accomplished, already accomplished so much. And to think that, hey, life's over because I can't see. And I know people that go blind, that's a shock to them and all. But, you know, there's other things in life. I mean, there's more to life than just what you're doing in the moment, you know, or, or what you've been doing, your, you know, your life. There's more to it. And, and I don't know. I just think it's a shame that uh, uh, such a young man. And he was. Uh, and the young life was just wasted that way. Who knows what he would accomplished had he just lived. Uh, that's all I have for you. I'm sorry if I brought you down. Um, please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. Please subscribe. Uh, have a great day. God bless you. And I'll be praying for you.